So, about what Lucy Lou said. Lucy Lou said when she was younger, if she actually did a superhero movie, she'll be set for life. Might be true. Charlie's Angels don't count. <laughs> yeah, but I know it's kind of messed up. At one point, I did have an interest in her, but as soon as she said, I like girls. I'm like, mm, I'm out. I'm ducking out. But technically, Lucy Lou always not lost. It's see, it's like just to see your performance that you did in Shazam: Fury of the Gods. And it's not me being freaking racist. It's me being like, dude, I think we got something here. I'm pretty sure Lucy Lou, if they do a interesting, accurate version of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in movie form, they can get Lucy Lou be freaking damn Rita Repulsa. I'm pretty sure they can freaking do that, and I'm pretty sure it would actually be pretty decent. It's either that or Scorpina. Either way, I am kind of actually looking at it being like, hmm, and why did we actually allow freaking Elizabeth Banks to be Rita? I'm sorry to be a jerk, but, you know, I'm kind of actually now questioning and being like, Lucy Luke seems like she could actually do it. I think she could actually have been the better choice. No offense. No offense. But I'm just saying, she does seem like she could actually be the better choice in this. <laughs> but, of course, considering they went into an interesting detail of Rita, it makes sense that it doesn't matter who was the Rita Repulsa. But even so, I'm like, I would like to give Lucy Lou a shot. I would like her to get a shot being Rita Repulsa. I'd like to get her for actual shot, not in TV form, actual movie form. Given she did do TV shows, she did do it. So I'm like, it seems like maybe she could actually be not only the movie Rita, but the TV Rita as well. If you're planning on truly reboot the series, which it seems like you might actually walk it back, good for you. But I'm just saying, if you do need a new Rita and you'll be able to pony up the damn cash, Lucy Lou might actually be a good choice. Might actually be a good choice. And I know it is not actually being like, oh, and the original voice actor or Rita, screw you. No, it's not like that. Me, I'm just saying, if you're going to truly recast, if you're going to truly actually do something interesting, Lucy Lou seems to be able to do a lot. I think she could actually handle this. I mean, there's so many other contestants, yes, but I'm pretty sure if she really, truly actually said that, why not give her a shot? Why not give her a test pilot? Why not do something interesting with her? But that's about it. As for just thinking about it, like, who exactly could she do? She couldn't be Jubilee because Jubilee was a teenager. <laughs> she was like a, an adult at this point. I don't think she could have mixed at Jubilee when it came to the X-Men. It's like, what exactly could she have done that would have actually been good for her? Maybe some anime, but again, she's a superhero, so it's hard to actually figure out where could she have been a superhero. There's really no line of anything where she could actually have done something that's like, ooh, awesome. The superhero boom basically happened in 2008 on up. And I guess technically you could just take it as in 15 years ago when she was younger. But even then, I'm like, I think she meant to be like in the 90s. I think she meant when it came to being in freaking Charlie's Angels. At that point, she wanted to do it. But as you can see, there's just really nothing. And I guess it's really the messed up part of where it's like, besides, you know, what we call race swap. It could get to the point of where it's like, but there is no Asian heroes that could have actually have really worked for you, though. I don't see any of them that actually would have worked. You could have bumped um, tween from Power Rangers to the curb. You could have done that. Heck, you could have been a Power Ranger if you really wanted to. I mean, Jane Lee Curtis dressed it up as a Power Ranger. I don't see how it's hard to do it. The only messed up part is that you're going to bend over backwards and I get paid a lot of money, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, I think she meant 
being in the superhero stardom versus being able to go to comic cons and all that stuff and being able to shake hands and kiss babies and sign autographs and get people to give you money and stuff like that it's like i doubt it i think you're all right the way you are but of course if she's just saying for experience wise I don't see a movie that she could have actually had done would have been cool. Well, besides Electra, but even then, I'm like, mm, that would be bending over backwards. She wouldn't truly fit into Daredevil or Electra at all. And Jennifer Gardner would most likely be a little bit pissed off, right? <laughs> like, right? She would be pissed off, even though it's like, you suck. <laughs> it's like, Jennifer Gardner, you suck. Oh my gosh, you sucked. <coughs> Well, if she could have done Suicide Squad, she could have actually bumped, um, I forgot her name to the curb. She could have been into Wolverine, but, well, in that case, she's too old for that. No offense. So, in her younger years, I don't think there was a superhero movie she could have done that would have been cool. I'm just telling you the truth. I don't see one. And if you do, hey, this is why we're starting the dialogue. Comment down below what movie in the 90s Lucy Liu could have done in a superhero movie that she's the lead that she could actually have done and did lots and lots of freaking movies with. Yeah, I, I can't see it. I don't see it at all.